Now we're going to go intra-articular. My preferred method actually to do intra-articular injections for the glenohumeral joint is to actually come out of plane posteriorly, image the joint. I'm using the center line function to be able to see where the joint is specifically. I'm really right up against the acromion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my needle and I'm going to see that my joint is essentially two and a half centimeters away based off the image here. So I know that I've got to go about two and a half centimeters, kind of pre-plan where I'm going to go and then basically enter at the center line in the same plane as my probe. And then once I get into the appropriate area, I can actually do the injection of fluid. I'm actually right there. And that's part of the problem though with this. I'm moving the tissue to make sure you can see I'm actually in the joint, but I'm actually in the joint. And you can actually see my needle there in the middle of the joint, which is sometimes hard to see, but it is there. Yeah. But this is the easiest, I think, for intra-articular injection.